Hey guys, HTV here and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon information video. Now if you guys are unaware, today in Japan a new promotional poster has been found which actually shows a lot of new information about the upcoming Pokemon games. Like there's a lot of stuff here, if you don't see it straight away you're going to be seeing it in the video because what we're going to be doing today is literally just taking the poster apart and be going down the poster and just highlighting all of the really cool, uh, you know, hidden information secrets that we can find in the poster so if you guys are super excited for this video please do leave a like the support really does help out the video the channel all that good stuff but like I say in today's video we're gonna be just breaking the poster down going through it all looking at all of the really important parts and then yeah see if we can find any really cool stuff that you guys wanna you know maybe want to find out about without further ado though guys let's start at the top of the poster and make our way down Okay, so the top of the poster is probably one of the most important parts of the poster, and that's because of a number of reasons. So first off, we see the big old like wormhole that actually looks a lot like the distortion wormhole that takes us to the distortion world back in Pokemon Platinum. If you ever have played Pokemon Platinum, you go through the to the distortion world through a very similar looking hole like this, and obviously meet Giratina and everything like that. This could, however, also be the wormhole that takes you to Ultra Space. More likely going to be the Ultra Space thing because it is, you know, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. It's in the name, so it kind of makes sense. But hey, Pokemon could easily throw, off, throw us off here and take us to the Distortion World. Either way, I'm super happy about both of those. They're both on my to-do list, and I would be very happy with either of those. But like I say, you know, the evidence behind it does support the fact that it is going to take us to Ultra Space. So that right there, pretty, pretty cool. The main thing, though, is look at these shadowed figures. Now, this is a uh, more high-resolution picture from the original poster. It was found on Twitter, um, and it definitely looks like a brand-new evil team. Like, it doesn't really look like the Aether Foundation too much. So, a lot of people have actually been saying this is a brand-new evil team, which would be insane. That, however, could mean that we don't have Team Skull anymore. A lot of people are like could be a little bit annoyed about that because Team Skull are actually really like funny and comedic and they bring that kind of thing to the game. But um, this is definitely already, in my opinion, a much more darker version of Pokemon Sun and Moon. So Pokemon Sun and Moon was the, you know, really happy, hey, we're in Alola, the sun's out, we're all having a good time kind of thing. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon's, hey, like, hey, we're actually bad guys here. We're going to try and take over the world. Not like those team school guys that just kind of went around and danced and stuff. These guys definitely look like they mean business. And these could be, um, there's, there's four shadowed figures here. So these could be like four of the bosses or something like that. They do all look really, really insanely like, you know, amazing. I really like the designs of their outfits and stuff like that. And they're all stand, like they're obviously all near the ultra wormhole as well. So they could all obviously have something to do with the, the wormhole. Maybe they create the wormhole that like sends us to ultra space or something like that. But these guys are definitely, these guys definitely mean business. You can see straight away that these guys definitely mean business. And they're definitely going to be uh, the antagonists of the game. And personally, I quite like the fact that we've got a new, you know, bad team. You don't want it to be Team Skull again because it's too similar to Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you want Team Skull, go play Pokemon Sun and Moon. With Ultra Sun and Moon, a lot of people have been complaining saying that it's just going to be like a Pokemon Sun and Moon 2.0. This poster right here, it's only a promotional poster and it kind of just shows you like, no, this is actually going to be a really, really good, you know, couple of games. And I'm super excited to see what the final product is because this promotional poster does make it look insane. And if we get a new team, you know, a new evil team organization, that's only going to be better things for the game. And, you know, the way they look is incredible and we can't really see the one in the very background like we most of them are obviously shaded and stuff like that just to make it more like more you know make them more look like villains and stuff like that but the one at the very back is super shaded so i'm not sure if that's going to be like the main guy I, the main guy would probably be at the front because you know he's the main guy that could just be another evil like leader or something like that but um the one on the right definitely looks very, very mischievous and, you know, he's got, like, the goggles on and stuff like that. They've all kind of got goggles on, I believe, and, yeah, the outfits and everything look amazing. So a new, a new evil team could be really, really cool. So, guys, what do you think this new evil team could be called? Like, let me know in the description, let me know in the comment section what you guys actually think this new evil team could be. I have no idea off the top of my head. Maybe Team Ultra or something like that. I think it could be something like that. But um, let me know what you guys think off the top of your heads what it could actually be. But having a new evil organization looking like looking absolutely amazing right next to ultra wormhole i think this storyline could be really really cool and i'm super happy that we've seen this promotional poster because it just makes me even more hyped for the games like than i you know that i could even more be hyped for um something else that we uh you can't really see in this photo so we're going to go back to the main poster you can actually see necrozma's eyes as well in front of like a big moon and the ultra wormhole so necrozma is definitely going to be a huge part of this game as we already know but you know just the fact that it's near the, the evil guys the ultra wormhole everything like that maybe the the evil guys try and get 
Necrozma to do something with the worm. I don't know. Like, I'm just speculating at this point, but super happy that we've got something like this and it looks absolutely insane. So the next picture that we have that um just to, to like talk about a little bit further down the poster is it, there isn't too much in this one. Obviously, you can see Lily in there, but we'll get on to that in the you know the next post, like the next picture uh, right here we can obviously ultra we can see the solgaleo and lunala new necrozma forms we can see decidueye primarina obviously and just the two uh, protagonists looking like they mean business like these guys look like they want a fight you know we can obviously see the z crystal there we can't see no mega bracelet right now unfortunately so you know doesn't mean the mega revolution is obviously not in the game but obviously it doesn't mean that we're going to be probably getting it until the end of the game again um but yeah they look really really cool like the artwork for these guys looks insane and like I said, there isn't really too much on this bit of the poster here because, you know, like I say, it's just the start of Pokemon and the protagonist. We already know all about that and obviously the Nana and Solgaleo forms. You know, there's nothing too much in the background. It's just kind of like, you know, colours and smoke and stuff like that. So we'll move on to the next part because the next part is obviously incredibly good. So next up, we obviously have Lily right there and Lily is actually holding a Pokeball and what that could mean is that Lily's actually battling in this game because why else would you hold a Pokeball? We still have Cosmog there. We have good old Nebby just there chilling in the bottom left so maybe she actually uses nebby in a fight i don't know probably not because cosmog doesn't really learn any moves and we also have glady on there in the back also looking like he's down for a fight we have incineroar we also have how as well looking super angry just everyone in this poster just looks super angry and ready to battle like it's really cool but the fact that we see lily again could also mean that we could be going back to kanto because of course lily last time we saw her she was going back to kanto so maybe we go back to kanto we meet up with lily maybe she comes back from kanto you know she looks like she's changed a lot she looks like she wants to fight but because it is an alternate universe and everything like that maybe it's just a maybe she never goes back to kanto in this universe maybe she just you know maybe she's just a different personality altogether and maybe she's like your rival or something Maybe you have two rivals in this. Like, obviously, you have Gladion as well, which is kind of a rival. How's your obviously main rival? Maybe Lily fights you in this game as well. It does look like that because she is holding a Pokeball. Uh, you know, it'd be it'd be insanely cool to fight Lily. Like, of course, I'd love to fight Lily in a fight. It'd be, it'd be really, really cool. But, um... That is pretty much everything for the poster, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the poster. I thought the poster looked absolutely insane. And, you know, there's so much information on there right now. Like, new Ultra... No, like, new Evil Team. Lily's back. It's just, it's just a really, really cool poster. So that is it from me though, guys. So please do leave a comment on what you think about all these new things. Let me know if I've missed anything on the poster that could be seen as like pretty cool. But um, yeah, remember my second channel, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, channel, Discord, Patreon, all that is in the description down below if you do want to follow me on any social media. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Until next video though, guys, hope you all have an amazing day and peace.